the hurt. Those who feel so much pain and sometimes can't describe it in words, this is for the genocide, the child with the broken smell, the oppressed who stay silent and the oppressors who continue to kill to feed their pride. This is for the circumcised, the little girls who've been cut to satisfy the arrogance in men who forgot their once children in a woman's womb for nine whole months. This is for the four out of ten women whose bodies have been used and abused by their loved ones, for the addicts and the molested children, for the refugees who leave their lands in hopes of the American dream but die instead. This is for our generation that is shaking and the politicians that partake in democracy is nothing but hip disguised hypocrisy. Tonight, something within us is breaking. This is for the neighbors who can't sleep at night because next door another woman is losing a fight whose heart beats so beneath her sheets that would give every wound a lifetime to heal. And how much free would any of us be if most of us in this room forgot what most humans in this world cannot? This is for the womb breaks empty, the eyes swollen heavy, the get up a child that's too hungry to even worry. This is for the thousands and thousands of children whose bodies been used and abused and now refuse to believe in heaven. The girls who turn seven instead of toys, they are raising their own children, married off at 11 to men who could be old enough to be their grandfather. This is not Islam, but the ignorance embedded in Muslim men who forgot what our prophets had came and taught them. This is for those who smile regardless of their pains. Hate is heavy in their hearts, but would never knock the love out of them. The mothers who've worked tiresome just to hold up their children. This is for the wounded, the hurt, those who feel so much pain and sometimes can't describe it in words. This is for you.